Hello, what is up everyone? It is Brutal Chaos. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're going to be continuing the awesome series that is if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device. This is going to be episode 10, Bold and the Foolish. Like I said, we finished episode 9 which was the Necrons. Like I said, the Custodes came in. Freaking awesome. Like I said, more Warhammer is coming. Like I said, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for being awesome. Like I said, I need to check out more Baldermort, more Oculus. All this stuff we still got to continue to check out. And if there's anything else that you think would be awesome for the channel, let me know. Even if it's not Warhammer or if it is Warhammer, let's check it out. You know, I'd love to react to it. Like I said, just leave the title of the video in a comment. Love to hear from you guys. Like I said, thank you for being awesome. We're right at the 1,000 mark, and it's all thanks to you guys. Like I said, so stay awesome. Um, without further ado, let's switch over. Let's pull up the freaking video. Like I said, I can't wait to check this out because I love every episode so far. It's been freaking amazing. Like I said, uh, Bruva Alpha Vusa kills it and support the original content. Let's do this. Looking crazy already. <laughs> hey Loki, not the rewind. Uh, that dude looks like an older Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Before you say another word, you better just... A little bit. You burn me like a heretic. Listen to me. There is something I must do. This woman leaves behind a suffering child. There is none but me who can intercede. Three days are all I need. Then I'll return. I pledge my word. Then I'll return. You must make me mad. Turn them off. Sorry for the freaking uh, French subtitles there. <laughs> Oh, y'all couldn't even see it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick for you guys. I'm sorry. This said, uh, I didn't see it was cut off. Y'all might want to read this subtitles. Oop. I'm a dork sometimes. Every video is so different. Fill it in right there. There we go. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> God. Dude wasn't playing. Emperor, damn it all. Not a single useful subject has been found yet. Don't they understand that Sigmaran is incredibly boring? <laughs> well, he is kind of old. Isn't it boring around here? Like, incredibly boring? Uh, be quiet, Doc. That's what I just said. No, that's what I just said. You know what would be fun? Letting me sit on your throne. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being up on that throne and all the fun things I could do up there. Oh, I Lord. Said, quiet! Giving me a headache. No, you be quiet. <laughs> Can someone feed the goat so we quiet down? We're trying to do important high lord things here. <laughs> oh, Billy! Now, to the business at hand. What were we we'll discussing? I think it <laughs> sounds like the dude from South Park. <laughs> hey there, Billy! His freaking grandpa. Was something related I guess that's the point, probably. The breathing of air from anyone that is not us. Air is one of the few natural resources <laughs> left on Terra, and if all of the normals use it, it'll be not left for us. <laughs> God. Tell me well, I'm not sure. My generals need to breathe as well to make commands. Whatever it is they are commanding again, 
Oh god, here we go with the poop again. Isn't breathing important? <laughs> A little bit. I'm gonna lay down. I should just go up there and find the head of myself. <laughs> oh hey, are you the guys I sent to buy my sandpaper cigarettes? I really need my fix of nicotine and throat lacerations. How else do you think I always sound so calm and sexy? <laughs> well, what that you oh boy, here they go talk about the custodies. Have some sewers to investigate. We were confronted by three custodies while interrogating some citizens. Custodies? You're joking me, are you not? The custodies never make the imperial powers. They were right there, though. And the custodians told us that the Emperor really is the one who sent the message. In the name of a thousand dead fucking heretics, are you saying? <laughs> well, in that case, we're all walking straight into the oh, boy. and taking those mutants. This is gonna freaking get good. I can't wait to see where this goes. Some prisoners with us. Hold your mega chairs for just a moment, Inquisitor. What do you think you are doing? <sighs> Not you. <laughs> okay, see, so wait to see how this turns out. They really think it's not the Emperor and it's freaking their heretics, man. This is going to be interesting when it all uh, comes together when they finally, uh, you know, clash. Not you. Stop standing around there all silent and dead like an unplugged fucking mechanicus out and tell me. <laughs> this anticipation is for some reason killing me. Then again, I'm a decaying corpse, so that might also be a contributing factor. <laughs> they are renowned yeah. in the Imperium for stealing a lot of relics from both other chapters and factions within the Imperium. It's not really known how they do it or exactly why, but they have somehow managed to amass a astounding amount of war gear due to this. So what are they called? I believe they're called... The... The... the um... <laughs> something. Spit it out, boy! Actually, I don't remember. Wait the fucking go. Go ahead. You... <laughs> <laughs> that is so savage. You should have a new level of stupid. Oh my god. Fucking go. Go ahead. You just reached a whole new level of stupid, the disappointing kind of stupid. <laughs> Did you say chapter? As in, only a singular chapter within an entire legion is good at this? Oh no, no, my lord, they are not part of a legion. Oh boy. Why the fuck would there ever exist a single chapter outside of a legion? Well, you see, seven years after the war's heresy, an event took place known as the Second Founding. The Second Founding? Oh man, this already sounds about as unnecessary as the Dark Eldar. Wasn't the appropriately named only founding good enough? <laughs> Actually, I think the name was changed to the first founding after they came up with the second one. Really? Wow. What an unbelievable excess of stupidity. <laughs> 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 the primarch of the Ultramarines from the government. My singular cybernetic, I just detected a large rise in ignorance and hubris in this room from the mere mention of that name. Created the Codex Astartes, which is a set of rules and guidelines that nowadays is used by thousands of space marine chapters throughout the galaxy. Thousands? Oh boy. Uh oh. Astartes became the foundation for a second founding. As Gullivan decreed, the whole legion still loyal were to be split up and organized into armies consisting of roughly ten companies each. One of these chapters were to retain their parent legion's original name, symbol, and color scheme. While the others could basically go and do whatever they wanted with that. So now we've got fucking Alpha Marine babies spread out across the entire galaxy. <laughs> also, the rest of the Imperium to form their own beliefs, dogmas, and hatreds inspired by the original, which was already an enormous pile of stupid to begin with. Seriously, are you actively trying to make my own life even more difficult? <laughs> my own life. Well, <laughs> in addition. This dumb book has split up the Imperium's mighty bulwark and made it into a rotten picket fence that even a small child could break down. Bang! What made you people think that this was a good idea? But my lord, Gullivan's intentions were noble. He recognized that in order for something like the Horus Heresy to not ever be possible again, the massive marine army should be separated and spread out. And now to see no activity is more rampant throughout the galaxy than ever. 
Perhaps the girly man's head wasn't stuck so far up his buttocks, fervently kissing his own ass. <laughs> he would have proved his work before publishing. For oh my god! Life, there could be hundreds of chapters out there pledging their allegiance to chaos, or perhaps even worse. And we This man was like a freaking, uh, not to cut it off here. This man was like a freaking, like, just a jar, and then when it opened, boom! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this man is laying it all out since he can talk again, basically. Legions to chaos, or perhaps even worse. And we have no fucking idea about it or a way to stop it, because all our defenses are so thinly spread. There could even be chapters consoring and accepting both Zeno's and Chaos worshippers into the ranks. Maybe even chapters so fucking reclusive and historically inept that their mere existence sound like something out of a disgustingly horrible and shitty fan fiction. <laughs> Do you guys have a feeling we're being oh boy. really hard right now? Ah, uh, we're always being shafts on the <laughs> fish. You thought that you were going to win this poker game, but it was actually I, Crash! Oh my god. Fucking damn the Gilsman. Speaking of which, did you tell them to cut his life support yet? It is very fucking important. Actually, when you've done that, make sure to bring that status field power adapter here. I might need that extra power to charge my data slate to play whatever new Battle Mace 42 million games <laughs> Not Call of Duty, though. They seriously need to stop releasing those shitty fucking re He's got a very good point about that. Like, Call of Duty is kind of dead. It's all about the Battlefield this year. I'm ready for Battlefield to come back. You get even bonus points for that, Emperor. I mean, I don't hate Call of Duty, but it's the same thing every year. Hash games every year. Right, my lord, I'll make sure not to forget it this time. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, are the Ultramarines somehow connected to all bad things that has happened for the last 10,000 years? It feels like we keep bringing them up all the time. Well, they have kind of become the poster boys of the Imperium, so can't really avoid mentioning them. Oh, speaking oh boy. of which, I should remember the name of that feeding chapter now. Really? What is it then? The name of the chapter is the Blood <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, every time they make the intro with the custodies, I mean, it's my favorite thing, freaking the JoJo theme and all that stuff. Like when it comes, they come in every time, like the transition's even more clean. It's the Blood <laughs> I'm so sorry for interrupting you, kid. There we go. But we have something to you about. Oh shit, it's my eternal torment upon this throne made manifest again. <laughs> man, this man is a savage, bro. He hasn't stopped since episode one. He's gonna I feel like it's gonna get better and better. Oh my god. Alright, sorry to rewind, man. I just love that transition so much. It's so it's so cool and so funny at the same time. What is it then? The name of the and the music. <laughs> So sorry Kitten. for interrupting you, kitten. But we have something very important to inform you to about. Oh shit, it's my eternal <laughs> torment upon this throne made man. <laughs> we were outside the palace, traveling through the spires of terror, but we noticed that everything was on fire. Not in the usual sacred incense burning way either. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Apparently there are inquisitors running amok all around the planet. They are looking for the one who sent that message demanding the disbanding of the Inquisition and the Adaptus Mistor. So they have arrived. Holy Imperator Berries, really? Really? I suggest we go to the High Lords immediately. Perhaps the Inquisitorial representative can be argued with. If not, we can just get him. Eat him or something. There is no time to be lost. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I was foolish to believe you would hold a promise like this one. You are untrustworthy filth, not ever worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one here worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one who's going to save him from his very own corrupted bodyguard. You are They're not, not even corrupted. Palace, Theodore. I would like to see you try and stop me. I'll gladly show you. Guards! Surrounded. Be quiet, Dominic. Well, 
here we are, Theodore. At long last, I can put you and your miserable little cult away. Never to oh interfere with the Emperor's will again. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Fool. Have you forgotten that my throne is a massive weapon arsenal? Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh boy. We're gonna light you up like a sandpaper cigarette if I had one! <laughs> oh, Ecclesia. If oh boy. you, the rest of Terra, do not meet my demands, I will have this entire room and all of its inhabitants fall prey to my throne of judgment. It is too bad for you that this passive decree is. This man's messing up. Isn't it? Fear are you, absolute ass. Oh. Don't feel too bad. <laughs> At least my melt out will fly away from this existence instead of splattering your blood across the floor. Because that was your primary concern, wasn't it? Man, it's crazy. Now, I am going into that palace. And I alone will save the Emperor yeah. and the Imperium of Man! Oh boy. This is good a while. I can't see, wait to see what happens next and where it goes with freaking uh, Theodore here, man. He looks like he's crazy. He's probably gonna get clapped by the custodies or something. Wouldn't uh, surprise me if he does because yeah, uh, we'll have to see what happens, you know. But anyways, guys, that was freaking awesome. Like I said, I love the text to speech device. Like I said, more is to come. More Warhammer period, like I said, I know you guys been waiting, been patient, like I said, more is to come, I got way more to learn, still more to check out, like I said, uh, some tabletop stuff will be coming here soon, some more of the Space Hulk gameplay, man, it is coming, like I said, and we're super close to 1,000 subscribers, super freaking awesome, thank you for smashing the like button, thank you for leaving your comments and all your recommendations, like I said, more is to come, if you think there's anything else that would be good for the channel, Warhammer or not, let me know down below, let me know the title, like I said, or just say hey, what's up, or something like that, love to hear from you guys, stay awesome, we'll see you guys in the next video.